A portion of the funding to make this program was made available by Smith and Andrushak, chartered accountants, proud sponsors of community programming in the Columbia Valley. Hello, my name is Vic Fryer. I'm launch director for the 19th annual Lakeside Hang Gliding event. It's a water target landing contest. They're taking off the top here at Mount Swansea, and they're landing in an inner tube in the lake. Uh, we've got our first tandem set of gliders getting ready to take off here, Larry Strom and his wife Diane. You can see them just over on the south launch. There's two of them strapped into the harness there. We'll be catching an interview with Larry later. He's going to come back up the mountain, and he's going to do a second tandem flight with another young lady. They're just waiting for some optimum wind right now. We're looking south, down the Columbia Valley, uh, Columbia Lake in the far distance, Fairmont Hot Springs and Resort, and Windermere Lake. We've got a semi-overcast day, but the sun is clear right over top of the lake and the mountain. And the landing site is at the south end of Lake Windermere. It's right in front of the Lakeside Inn, sponsor of the event. There's a little inner tube right off of James Chabot Provincial Park. All the gliders will be taking off, and today I don't think they're going to do a lot of flying around. Weather's not conducive for a whole lot of fun up here, I don't think. So they're going to be heading more or less straight towards the target area, an inner tube. And they're going to try to put both feet right in the center of that tube. In the case of the tandem flight, that'll be four feet. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> nope. Hello, it's Vic, and I'm talking to Diane Strom. She's about to take off on a tandem flight with husband Larry Strom. Tell us what you think of launch conditions right now. It's a little switchy, but he's got a lot of experience, so I'm not very concerned, as well as I've gone a lot of times. Of course, I'd like more wind and more thermals, but we always do. Right, more fun with more thermals. Uh, you used to glide by yourself a few years ago. How come you let her 
Well, he's pretty fanatical. <laughs> he goes every day, all day long, if he can. And I was getting my master's degree and got busy. And in order to keep up with him, I thought it'd be better if I quit. That's great. Do you uh, have any nervousness about jumping down today? Or? I'm not too much nervousness about getting off the hill or any of that, but I'm uh, excited to win lots of loot and have a good time. Oh, yeah. Well, how wet do you think you're going to get down there? Wet enough as far to out deep as the inner tube is. <laughs> it's chest deep I'm there. I've heard it's chest deep this year, not ear deep. So. Oh. Well, good. We like chest deep, not ear deep. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. We'll see you later. Yeah. This is Bill Gerard no, hanging up in the tree here. Bill Gerard. Gerard. Just Gerard. Yeah. He's hanging a streamer in the trees so that the gliders can see which direction the wind's coming from and how strong it's blowing. Rick Carr is off watch. He's the first one going down. He's headed your direction already. We have a pilot off the mound right now. Rick Carr from Calgary, Alberta. Rick looks like he's come off the south lodge. You can see the little, the little spot just over the mountain right now. It takes about 12 minutes to fly straight out here if you take off the mountain and fly straight out to a landing area. Dano, we have about three gliders all in the basic mode to jump. Larry and Diane are ready to go off the precipice. Daryl Ross is ready to go off the south ramp. And I believe it's Brian Dodd set up on the north ramp. Daryl Ross has just achieved takeoff. Copy. Thank you. That's Daryl Ross gone. I've just been informed by Larry and Diane that this is our acrobatic pilot. All right. Looking good. Rick just won a little spot landing contest in Sycamore. Oh, watch your head, sir. Sir, want to hang out here? the feet down to land. A little higher, Rick. Big car from Calgary. Hold on. Dano, Trin and Painter just left the launch. Daryl's flown from Mount Swansea right here to Elkhart, BC. Currently living in Kimberley. Daryl's flying one of the latest hybrid gliders called a Ram Air by Wolfwing. Setting up for the target. A little bit of breakage. Daryl Ross. Brian Dodd is our next pilot of the air. Uh, 
That's why they call it a doctor. Brandon Payne from Kimberly is the next pilot in the air. Well, Larry, tell me exactly what's the holdup from jumping off the mountain? Well, the holdup is I'd really like it to be blowing in here so it would reduce my ground speed getting off of here. Um, I don't like to look for the metal ramp for tandem, and I'm just going to wait till things are real good. So the metal ramp on the the metal ramp on the south end it's is very just shallow. There's some trees, and the ramp is fairly small. Mm-hmm. So you don't feel safe taking your wife off that ramp. You'll wait for better conditions here. Um, yeah, we're just here for fun, and I'll wait for plenty of safe conditions. And what do you think your chances are of beating 19 feet? 100%. I'm inside. <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm feeling really bad about not having money on you right now. Well, As a matter of fact, I put $5 on Brian Dodd, and he's 98 feet away. Yeah. Well, if I can get off the hill, I'll do everything I can to punch the inner tube to the bottom of the lake and let the air out. Okay, thanks a lot, Larry, and best of luck to you. Andy Potter's left launch. flying in a pod harness. He's got one knee out now. Screaming in here. I think Brandon's going from... Oh, this is going to be good. Girls want to watch your heads here. Um, maybe move, maybe move the kids over to here a little bit, because these guys can come in here with their wingtips real low on the ground. Hi, sweetheart. Andy Bottom, he's going to be roaring right in over top of the crowd here to make his final leg on his approach. downwind leg. Now he'll make it one last turn across the beach here, which is what we call the base leg. Watching the target. Last turn about here. Looking good. Well, that just shatters all our standings. I think that puts Andrew Potter safely in the first place. 